burgers that tempt. We wanted to take the word sin and put it towards a positive, award-winning dish. Burgers without meat. The Mac and Stack. Burgers that we just can't. Do people actually eat this? Burger Night, next. This is Chronicle on WCVB Channel 5. Most people visit Wheelhouse Boston during a lunch break. But for Rachel Leah Blumenthal, editor of Eater Boston, a trip to a burger joint is work. Wheelhouse in downtown Boston. It's just a big favorite burger spot. It's really convenient for breakfast and lunch. It's, just, it's a great little spot. Not just a great little spot, one of the 25 essential Boston area burgers. According to Blumenthal and her colleagues at Eater, a list that required a lot of deep, delicious analysis. I talked to my staff, we talked to our friends and family, uh, trusted local critics. We look at online reviews with the necessary grain of salt. You know, we're not just like looking at the top 10 on Yelp and putting that on a map. Um, but over the course of all the review sites, you kind of, you see trends. Cali, Buffalo. Thank you. Got it. Open since 2014, if you don't work downtown, you may have missed Wheelhouse, but once you try their burgers, you won't forget it, says chef John Chase. You know, everyone tries all these tricks, try to do like, you know, flavored butters and all this stuff. Our key is we just, we never touch the meat. It goes from the, the butcher to here, and it never touches our hands. So that works out all the fat, I think. So that seals in all the flavor on a really hot griddle that we use back there, and um, you know, it's worked so far. I just think places should focus more on one thing and try to be awesome at it, and it's kind of what we try to do. Yeah, I mean, so down here, like in the financial district, it makes sense to do breakfast. We just do our uh, regular burger with bacon, egg, and uh, we do like this breakfast rub that has coffee in it. People get a little weirded out by it, but it's awesome. I've had the purist here. I, I am a purist when it comes to burgers, so that's perfect for me. I personally don't love a ton of toppings. Good meat and good bread and I'm all set. I don't need anything more than that. This burger purist sure has a lot of favorites. Craigie on Main really has that kind of iconic Boston burger. Well, Cambridge, but we'll say Greater Boston. It's a really special burger. And not everybody feels the need to, you know, spend upper teens and up on a burger, and I get that. But if you want to splurge, it is really, it's special. Um, the blend of meat, there's, it's, it's like a grass-fed beef. He grinds it in-house. The bun is perfect. That's also made in house. I mean, that's what you're getting when you pay the big bucks for fancy burgers. You know, the fancier ingredients, locally sourced beef, all of that. Craigie on Main, where acclaimed chef Tony Maws came up with a hamburger for the bar to entice diners during the recession of 2008. And then Bon Appetit magazine decided to put it on the cover and it just went berserk. It went crazy. It's really about the meat, you know. It's beautiful grass-fed meat, hardwick beef. It's really hard to get, very limited quantity. Want ketchup with that? Instead of buying ketchup, we do make our own ketchup. I know that people have, you know, their own affinity for their own toppings and, you know, Heinz 57 or whatever, but come on, this is Craigie on Main. Like, we're gonna make our own stuff. Malls was forced to limit the amount of burgers served, so only the lucky few get one each night. I understand that people really wanna try it. I'm not trying to be a jerk about it, but like we're not a burger shack. We're going to make the 18 a day that we can make with the quality that we're really proud of and we'll let people duke it out. So come early or call ahead. And it could be like 7 or 7.30 and there's still a few burgers left. So sometimes we, you know, have phone calls in the middle of service. Hey, do you have any burgers left? And we'll be like, yeah, we got two. And they're like, cool, I'll be there five minutes, you know, or something like that. It's pretty, pretty funny. Arabo Sullivan's is a great burger spot. I, I've heard the burgers described as hockey pucks, but that's not a bad thing there. I know that can have kind of a negative connotation, but they're just, they're very thick. They're small. They're a half pound, but they're, you know, mm. <laughs> and they're just, they're so good. If you ask for rare, they will cook them very rare, and it's fantastic. Here in this little pub in Somerville, you'll find some of the biggest, juiciest burgers around. R.F. O'Sullivan's opened 25 years ago, once Richard Sullivan decided what he was going to serve. Well, it's either going to be roast beef sandwich or a burger. Burgers you can do anything with. Anything someone likes, I could put on a burger. 
you can see why these mouth-watering works of art are consistently labeled best in Boston. It all starts with fresh ground sirloin cooked on a char grill. Nothing here is frozen. It's always a fresh patty. The meats are delivered daily. And we cook the burger your way. That's the most important thing, getting a rare burger if you want it, a well-done burger if you want it. Patience is a necessity here. These Whoppers take up to 20 minutes to cook, but customers say it's worth the wait for one of the 30 different burgers here. One of the most popular in this area is called the Blackjack Burger. It has a special sauce on it. We get people from MIT come in here, love the Blackjack Burger. They say it does something to you. I've been eating it for years, hasn't done anything to me. With the Black and Blue's crusted black pepper with blue cheese on top, it gives you that peppery, fiery taste. And then also there's a house burger that has everything in it. We have like the bacon, the ham, lettuce, tomato. Then there's the latest addition. We call it the cock in the cradle. What it is, it's a burger with an egg on top, and then we have onion strings underneath it. So we call it, it looks like a bird's nest. So we come up with little quirky names, you know, make things, people laugh. Still hungry? Don't forget your sides. We serve our burgers with cut french fries, large, Cut French. They're not people say this isn't a French fry. It's a potato. French fry is a potato. It's cooked in fresh canola oil, and it's uh, we also serve with onion rings, so you can have half and half. If you keep it simple, it's going to work.